Hi Shelly, my name's Elijah. I know you spoke with Alex briefly about us putting together this video to go over what we can do to increase your customer basis online. Um, and if you're wondering flat out why we would do that, I'll be honest with you. What I realize is that when companies like yourself are focused on growing, you tend to ignore your online presence. And if you have any idea how important your online presence is, you've hired someone that might not know what they're doing and they probably burned you. And so you haven't hired someone again or you haven't hired someone because you just weren't sure if those people were competent enough. So what I realized is that when I put together videos like this and I give you three free tips about how you can revolutionize your business, and I guarantee that, uh, people tend to come back to me and say, you know what, Elijah, thank you so much. That really made a difference. Um, I don't have the time to do this, but I trust you to do it. And then I oblige. So if that's how you feel at the end of this video and you'd like to get to know more about what I can do in order to help your company, to see how you guys can grow further than where you've ever been, then send me a message and we'll set up a time to talk and go over what your dreams and your goals are for the future. So without further ado, I'll get right into what I want to talk to you about today. I'm going to go over three different things. I'm going to go over content, citations, and backlinks. But first, I'll start with content. So I took a look at your website and I'll tell you, I really like your website. It's real cool. Get straight to the point. It's a lot of green. So obviously, I know you work with landscape. Um, but one of the things I really did notice is that you don't have 1500 words on the front page of your website. So if you're wondering why 1500 words, Google has this thing called content optimization. And what they figured out is that if you have something really important to give to people, or if you have value to add to people, you're going to have at least 1500 words on the front page of your website. If not, then you really don't have anything of value to add. So that's what we want to focus on. So I took the liberty of checking out a company. Um, in your area just by searching landscape nursery and just so you know landscape nursery gets searched 1,000 times a month so a thousand times a month someone puts in landscape nursery and your name does not pop up but this company did and, and tad on to that a little bit further I searched nursery also nursery gets searched 12,000 times a month you don't pop up on the front page of Google and that 12,000 searches that means that you've missed out on the opportunity of at least out of that 12,000 times being searched or hit on and clicked on in order for them to see your business and be attracted to what you have to offer. So Dundee, looking at their website, it's pretty simple. There's nothing crazy about it. They don't have 1500 words either, which means that there's no reason why you can't surpass them when it comes to content optimization. So the next thing I want to talk to you about are your citations. And just to give you an understanding of what citations are, that's your digital footprint. Um, it's like your business address online. So it's a place where you'll put your name, your business name, your business address, your business website, and your business phone number. And most of the time, places are like Yellow Pages, MapQuest, Yelp, Home Advisor, Angie's List, um, even Facebook which I want to add that you have Facebook because that's newer, so that means that you, you at least are keeping up with the times. So when I look at your competition, your competition has fewer citations than you, but what I wanted you to understand was that over here in these ratings for their citations, there's a couple of them that rank higher than yours. You don't have them, but it's okay. This tool I use called WhiteSpark allows me to see what they have and I can go after it in order to get it for you. Next, I'm going to go into a tool I call ARES. I really like this tool because it's all-encompassing. It's about 600 bucks a month, so I don't recommend you buy it unless you're really going to do your own, your own um, SEO. But for me, it pays off, so I have it. So the reason why I wanted to show you ARES is because it gives me detail about your backlinks and your organic keywords. And there's something I saw here that was really, really bad that I wanted you to understand. So you have 2.4 thousand organic keywords. It's bringing you in 665 uh, people a month in traffic. Normally when I see uh, something so high as this, the organic traffic will match if the keywords are utilized correctly on your website. But the fact that you didn't have the appropriate amount of content on the front page of your website already told me that your website wasn't getting utilized the way it should be. So I wanted to show you competitors. Your competitors, they rank a little bit higher than you, whatever but their organic keywords are far less. It's almost equivalent to how much traffic you have coming into your website. And the first thing I saw was that they double the amount of traffic they have compared to their keywords. So this tells me that they are really utilizing these keywords really, really well. Now, if you're wondering what type of keywords they're utilizing, they're pretty known, they're pretty famous for their name, but there are tons of keywords that are not surrounding their name that get them volume that comes in. 
The reason why I like this tool is because I can see every single keyword that they use. So if that's something that you need for your website in order for you to get more traffic, I can get it. They've been pretty, I'm going to show you something else. They've been pretty, they've been pretty steady with the amount of traffic that they have coming around. So if you can see, it's about 2,000 people, 2,000 to 1,500 people that come every month to their website. And it's based on that. Now, I tee in the backlinks a little bit because I told you I was going to cover that. So backlinks are essentially like what Google considers as site authority. And site authority is kind of like a popularity contest amongst web pages. So I can explain what that is a little bit. Imagine that you're a new kid coming to high school. You've uh, never been there before. You're on your own. <coughs> Excuse me. And you meet someone at lunch. And it turns out that that kid's really popular. They hang out with the popular crowd. They invite you to hang out. And now you're hanging out with all these popular kids. And everyone who's never seen you before thinks that you're popular because you're hanging out by association. So it's the same way for web pages. Google has this thing where when there are really high uh, rated web pages that tend to link to web pages that are brand new or have low ratings, they give them some trust or some authority because they believe if these companies who are really reputable with these web pages link to this, this website here, it must mean that this website has something phenomenal about it and that they're super trustworthy. So they give them that, they give them that site authority. So your competitor is beating you right now by over a hundred backlinks. And it's not just a hundred backlinks, it's the quality of backlinks. So another reason why I like Ahrefs is that it shows me the domain ratings and the UR ratings. And if you don't know what DR and UR, I can explain that to you um, a little later. But I really want you to understand that. So your backlinks, you can just see a little bit that yours are lesser, your domain ratings for the backlinks that you have are fewer than what your competitor has right now. So what needs to happen is that that needs to improve. I want to show you something else. So I use another tool called Majestic. Majestic is pretty cool. Um, you don't have to use this tool. You can use SEO Quick or SEM Rush, and it gives you some of the same information. And it's they have like a 10 day or 14 day free trial, so you can kind of maximize within that time period. But what I wanted you to understand was that trust flow, citation flow, which is link quality and link volume play together to give you something called a golden ratio. And the point is for you to be right here on this slope right there. It means you're like pretty much perfect when it comes to the quality of the links you have and the volume of the link you have. So in summary, I told you I talk about three different things. Content. You need 1500 words at minimum for your homepage. That's Google saying your website is content optimized. Citations. You're beating your competitor by a couple of citations. But the way to really blow them out the water park is to have at least 100 to 200 more citations. Lastly, your backlinks. You are being destroyed in backlinks right now because you're 100 behind your competitor. If you took 100 to 200 more backlinks over a six month period and included those in your website, you, you'd kill your, your competitor. So if you realize right now by checking out this video that I know a lot more than what I'm putting on from the video and you want to talk more about how we can get together and figure out where to go for with your company, please send me a message or give me a call. Uh, I'd be happy to sit down with you and really make plans to revolutionize how your business is going to go forward. If not, and you realize that you just want to do this yourself, I'm all for it. All I ask is that at the end of the video, you give me some feedback on what I can do to improve and make things better for companies like yourself. Thank you so much. I look forward to hearing from you.